hey, hey, how are you? Welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining me for a quick moment as I discuss something that I feel all parents need to think about. And that is um, this thing called entitlement. And I just wanna tell you why kids don't respect you or respect others. First, it starts at home. And um, if you're not teaching your kids, and, and I'm not beating anyone up, I'm just telling you that God has a plan and he left it, he left some instructions for us. And he also gave us promises and he rewards us for diligently seeking him. And a lot of us have kids and we don't know how or what to do. Sometimes we just get overwhelmed. We, we get, you know, these days overworked and tired and exhausted. And we let things slide. For instance, saying thank you. You're welcome. No thank you. May I please have that? Yes ma'am, no ma'am. And how are you? You know, just the polite, just the polite things. I've been around kids whose mom would tell them something and they would say, no. I remember when I was little, I don't even remember wanting to tell my mom no if she called me. I didn't desire to tell her no. I knew what would come if I did, but to just say it without consequence was a beat down. <laughs> So, um, kids are not, this is why they don't respect you is because you're not teaching them while you should. And that is train up a child in the way they should go. So when they are older, when they're older, they will remember the, this, these things that help them to be better in society. I hear, I mean, every day, we have to remind some of our kids, the small ones, the little ones that are five years old, to say thank you. We shouldn't have to remind kids to say thank you. They should automatically say thank you because they say thank you to mommy and daddy. They say thank you to their grandparents. So, I just want to encourage you, mommies and daddies, and aunties and uncles and brothers and sisters and people who have children to remind them of the, the gentle things that help the world go around right and that is the things that God left for us to do and that is to teach them to remind them to encourage them to help them and they will be better in society or they're going to grow up hating, being hateful, rebellious, and this thing with entitlement. Let's talk about entitlement. Entitlement is the response of giving them things that they didn't, sometimes they don't deserve some things. Some things they need to learn how to work for. Um, for instance, doing chores and getting a thank you from the parents and rewards because you did this well or you did it without me asking you. I want to give you this. But to give them something and they didn't even, they don't say thank you. They don't ask you for it. They tell you what they want and then you just give it to them out of, I don't know, guilt or overcompensation or because it didn't happen for you when you were little but now you're older and instead of you teaching them well you just give them stuff and then they feel like they're entitled to it they now have this entitlement to think that everything you buy belongs to them and then when they get about you know in their teens and they want something they're bigger they're taller they're stronger um that is going to be uh harmful to you because your no is going to be um uh, it's going to be a defiant response from your children because you didn't teach them that you are 
in control and that you are in charge or that you are in you are authority you are authority and you are you should be authoritative to our children it, it's not that the they come out and then we teach them we who are not the mothers and fathers but we are to help rear up your children because that's what God has given us to do but if you don't rear them up at home what do you expect us to do they they, they disrespectful I'm going to teach children around me the kindness and the love of God because that's what we should do. But if they don't learn it at home and we just have this one side and then you don't teach them, then the easy way is not to think about it. But when they grow up, you will remember what you didn't do. So while you have an opportunity, teach your children right from wrong, teach them the manners. Manners is important to God. And I'll say this because this is very important. God's children is the salt of the earth. And he said, when salt loses flavor, it's to be thrown out and trampled on. So unattractiveness is not being kind. Unattractiveness is not um, valuing other people. We are all people. We all grow up differently, but we should all understand that we bleed the same, regardless of the color of your skin. That is nothing. But we should value one another. Salt back in the days in the Roman times, how many ever thousands of, you know, hundreds of years ago, that was, salt was valuable. Um, you could pay for your bills or whatever it was. You could exchange for salt because salt was valuable. And it's interesting that God calls us the salt of the earth. And salt has a couple of attributes. It draws, it heals, it flavors, and it also can kill. It can kill the root of things. You know, like a tree for instance. If you put a bunch of salt in a stump in your yard that you want to, to die, it'll kill it. It'll um, absorb that, it'll kill that tree stump crumble it up. So remember that we are the salt of the earth and we have a duty here and that is to train up our children to raise them right in the admonition and fear of God and to love them through it. Even though it may be hard sometimes to say no. Say no. No don't mean it's permanent. No mean not right now. And sometimes your no mean no. Like, And that's okay. They should get a hard no. I heard a young girl, um, she's only seven, and she was getting in the car, and I don't know what had transpired, but she yelled at her dad, and she didn't get any consequences for that. And that's why I'm actually talking to you guys, because I found that to be disturbing for a child to be able to yell at their parent as though that's okay. That's not okay. Just imagine when that child gets a little bit older and they're stronger and they're bigger, what's gonna happen? So I'm gonna end right here because I spoke enough and I hope I said everything I needed to say, but God is gonna hold you and me accountable for how we raise children. Remember you once was a child and um, what you learned. And if you didn't learn manners, I apologize to you for your parent not teaching you. But you should teach your children manners because if you don't, it's gonna be it's gonna be hell in your home and hell for those who meet your children. God bless and keep you.